Bro, why not? <laughs> well, for one thing. Oh, it's a okay. Bitch. Chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What were you saying? I'm sorry. Do you are you dating anyone? Am I dating anyone? No. Yeah. Okay. Well. Okay. If you have ever dated someone, mm-hmm. you were first, right? Nah. Mm-hmm. What she asked? She said, if you ever, like, dated someone, you were friends first. Not always. Yes. Almost every one of the girls I've dated. Not always. Exactly. Okay, well, for him, if you were that friends with that <laughs> ended up dating them, then that doesn't make you friends. You guys met because of attraction. Because you're like, oh, she's cute. Oh, I like her. But, but not like, necessarily. Yeah, but at the, at the same time, like, not every girl that I've been friends no. with, I was, Lorraine like, interested in. I yeah, but you guys, okay. No, Lorraine, Lorraine was ugly as dating, fuck. She glowed up, and I was like, oh shit, your personality is cool. That's why I'm friends with you. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. What'd you say? I'm sorry. Um, okay, so if you ever met someone and you thought they were cute or you liked their personality or whatever, you always had an attraction towards them, didn't you? I mean, yeah, you, but not, you not all attraction is romantic and just inherently. Well, I'm not but a friendship should be honest and like you should tell them whatever you feel right a friendship can you can't hold anything in about what you feel about them so if you ever for one moment felt like you're in a moment where you're you're out just as friends and you go on to go eat or something and you feel like oh this is nice like I would want to do this again with her like or you have have a thought like oh like what if she was my girlfriend how would this go Obviously, and you have to tell her it's not an honest friendship, and that is not a friendship. And having that thought is but, something that. But I've had like I've had female friends, I, and I've never thought of that way. Mm-hmm. So like I mean, by that logic, that would mean like you said, um, if you've ever had a girlfriend, they start off as your friend. But I mean, by that logic, every friend that I have, that's female, would inherently end up like being in a romantic sense. And I don't think I don't think about all my female. I'll, I'll admit some of them. But, like, for the most part, like, nah, I just be chilling. Okay, but do you have, like, close girlfriends right now? Mm-hmm. How close are you guys? Like, pretty close. Do you... I will say one of them is, like, my best friend. Have thought about dating her or kissing her or anything? I did, yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Huh? Okay, so Cheyenne? then, yeah, exactly. Do you have that thought? But, you? like... No, it's not. But not all of them, though. But not all of them. That's That means you have to rephrase your statement. That means but see, but guys and girls can't be best friends. No, but that's the thing. You're not as close with them, are you? I'm trying to think of one. Yeah, like, I mean, I know. I can I can, I can, can count plenty of girls who I am just friends with. Like, Yeah, I know, but you're not close with them. You see them, like, Wait, once in a while. But that doesn't mean that you guys are just, like, you guys are friends. Friends are you like you con you're constantly talking to them, constantly with them, and because it's a girl and you don't see them that way, obviously you're not going to be talking to them as constantly as you did with that one girl who you said you had you had thoughts about her, about kissing her or whatever. Yeah, but at the same time, like feelings can change. So like, if I get really close to the person, like yeah, you might like you might just think like oh like what if what if this was a deeper relationship? But that doesn't mean like it stays that way like for like I could like we could be friends forever and then one week I'm just like oh I'm in love with this person and then the next week I decide you know what this is actually better for just friends and the feeling fades yeah but that's called slippage and with that it's you need to be in a friendship the the one main thing you have to have is honesty so if you have that type of thought and the slippage you have to tell your friend oh like hey like I thought about this and I know it's dumb or whatever, but nobody. Wait, ever why? <laughs> Wait, why do I have because to tell her? That's how. That's the definition. That's how a friendship's supposed to be. You have to be honest. You have to be real with them. You have to care for them. And those well, well, I lie to them. my friends all the time, and they couldn't be happier. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, ignorance is bliss. My friends don't need to know everything. I, but that's that's <laughs> my thing. You can't just be friends with someone when think when you have those thoughts you can't i don't know i don't think you have to tell your friends every thought you have to be considered real friends like well you don't need to tell them every single detail but if it's something that's major like that then you have to i mean but why does like 
why does like okay say even like say i have a, I have a friend who's a girl or really close and like there's like timing or whatever and all of a sudden i started thinking about like oh like what if we were closer or what if we started to date like why do i have to tell them that like why can't i just keep it to myself until i figure it out because then you're gonna have that thought again you're gonna keep thinking about it and the more you think about it the more it's a friendship because you're constantly thinking oh like if i do this it's gonna send her the wrong impression like, it's gonna think that or something so it's it's more of if it's just a friendship and you're totally fine with it or whatever and you ever have those thoughts and you can just tell her like oh hey like i thought about this but it's like silly or whatever it's stupid so okay that so thing- what if you what if you do that and then but if you okay so say i have these thoughts and we both agree it's dumb then what then that means you successfully been friends with a female no. and if we go on until the day we die we never do anything that's like but that's, that's the thing you don't know you don't know exactly what she's feeling maybe she's like oh yeah like i'm just saying it's dumb because it's dumb but she actually has an attraction towards you and the whole time you guys are friends she's just hoping and hoping that's not a friendship but that doesn't but that doesn't necessarily mean that she is it's a possibility but like there's different variables obviously yeah, not every situation the time is the same. it is and it, see the thing is you can be friends with someone but you can't like friends i don't know how to explain it. how you can be friends with someone and not talk to them for a week and then talk to them next week that's not that's not typically like a friend that you you're with it's usually constant like every other day and it's like, oh gosh, um, if you have, okay, how long, how often do you talk to your, your close girlfriend? The, um, the one that's close is probably like every day. Okay, exactly. Or almost you guys yeah. have this connection and I'm pretty sure she does too. She has feelings for you. So it's technically not a friendship. She's trying to like talk to you in the sense of. Well, uh, we don't know that for certain. Females that I, was friends with. I mean, hey, honestly, I wish they were down, exactly. but my female friends ain't shit. But wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. My whole thing is, but you say, like, obviously there's a possibility that she could like me back. Or I'm not saying that I like her inherently. But, like, obviously there's a possibility that she might like me. But there's also a strong possibility that she doesn't. And we're just friends. Yeah, but, even, no. Even, even say, say it starts out as friends and you're friends for years. And then eventually it leads to a relationship. Even, oh. like, if you started out with, like innocent intention say i started out it's just to be friends but there's no we were both friends. at least even for a second even for a minute we were friends and we accomplished that it wasn't it wasn't even a romantic thing but no think about it okay you had an in- innocent intentions to be friends with her right but why were you guys friends in the beginning because of attraction right or personality yeah but attraction isn't always romantic well obviously not between like like guy and guy and girl and girl and unless they are like bisexual but between that it's it's mainly oh wait wait wait. that's even deeper though okay so for people who are bisexual can they not be friends with anyone (laughs) whoa that's crazy no (laughs) no because like technically like by your logic that attraction can develop with either 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 sex so they can't be friends with anyone no that's not what i'm saying okay okay so why can why can bisexual people be friends with others but men and women cannot be friends Okay. What's because what's the difference? Okay, so if if like say you were gay, I'm just saying. Yeah. Um, you can't be just friends with guys. It's not possible. Because you. But what about bisexual people? Can they not be friends with straight or gay people? No, no, that it's okay. Neither you can ever just be friends because they're attracted to both sex. I mean, that's that's more complex than it is. I'm. I don't know. Sounds pretty simple to me. That's. No, by your logic, if men and women can't be friends because of the attraction that that starts the relationship, then that means bisexual people can't be friends with anyone. Because no, technically, if you're insane. always if you're always starting a relationship because of the initial attraction, then that means no, all bisexual relationships were started from that, meaning that bisexual people cannot stay friends with anyone. No, that's not what I'm saying. If they're bisexual, yes, of course you're gonna have friends, but it's just you can't just be friends with someone and not have that attraction towards the other person. That's what I'm so saying. then you're saying all friends always have but that attraction. Some of the opposite, okay, the, the gender that you are most attracted to. So, okay, so for bisexuals, you can be friends. They can be friends with the girls, guys, whatever, but it, you can't always just have, like, be friends with just that one person because you're always going to have this feeling like, oh, hey, like, 
what about this date? Like if I dated them or if I liked them or if I kissed them or something, they're, you can't, you can't just, just be friends and not have okay. those feelings. But, so why do bisexual people get to choose and, and straight people can't? I don't know. I just feel like my whole thing is like, okay, in the span of like human existence, there are billions of people who have lived. And I'm sure in one instance, there is a man and a female who came together and had a relationship that was not romantic and it never became anything more than that. I'm sure that has happened at least one time in human existence. So I don't know. I was just saying it can't. I feel, no, like, it's I feel like it's too broad. I mean, I feel like humans are humans and feelings are complicated and so are emotions. And sometimes you can feel two things at the same time. Like, no, what? because. <laughs> okay. But, um, but yeah, I just feel like it's too, it's too narrow to say like, okay, guys and girls who are straight cannot be friends. I feel like there's, there's, I mean, there's billions of possible, there's infinite possibilities. Who knows? I know it's just okay. If you, how do I put it to my point? Okay, um, say a friendship. It has to be personal, emotional, and with a relationship, it has to be personal and emotional as well. So it has the same characteristics, right? But what's missing is that actual thought in your head. So I know there have been people that have been friends for a long time, boy and girl, and they never dated. But there has always been an issue with, oh the. Do I like her? I think I do. I think I don't. And then if they do end up friends for life and they end up marrying someone else, there's always going to be that type of jealousy between the other ones because they feel that there's an attraction towards them. And they're always will. So it's not like you can just be best friends with them and not have your companion that you're married to or you're dating to be okay with it. So I mean, no I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like at the same time, just because even if at any point in a relationship, you decide to feel like, oh, like maybe we could be more than that. I feel like that doesn't equal like, oh, you can't just stay friends. I feel like maybe like you can think that like any every everybody's curious. Everybody will like always has those thoughts like, oh, what if, you know, but I don't think that inherently means like, oh, like you like this person and it's more than friends. Like sometimes you you're, you can you can wonder, but, you know, like in your heart of hearts, that's that's stupid. Like you guys are probably better off as friends. Like I feel like everybody has thoughts like that. I feel like people are just curious naturally. Like, I feel like just because you yeah. feel that way, even for like, a certain amount of time, like, I feel like that doesn't equal like, oh, I'm like, I actually am like, a tr like more than that. Like, I want to have a deeper relationship with this person. Maybe they're just like curious. Like, think of it this way. A healthy relationship, a healthy friendship, it has to be honest. Like, you can't just keep things from them, especially if it's that big, because you're going to have those thoughts and you're going to, obviously, if you tell them they're going to, and be like, oh no, that's weird. Like he's doing this, so he likes me, and it's an intro. But if you like, you keep it to yourself. You're just gonna act different based on what you thought. Like, oh hey, like I had this thought. Like I'm not even gonna bother going next to her, near her, or touch her because I'm gonna give off the wrong impression. So I mean, but at the same time, like, like I said earlier, I was like, okay, well, what if, say, I'm like my my female friend. What if I develop a feeling for her and then I go and I tell her like hey like I was thinking about this the other day but it's kind of dumb and she's like yeah that was dumb and we go along our merry way like we can easily just have a whole friendship and even though that thought happened it didn't develop into anything I'm just saying like even if you feel like a certain way that doesn't always develop into things and sometimes people might feel that way and then they'll like realize like oh I was wrong like we're better off as friends I feel like it's definitely possible for like a man and a woman like even like yeah you're probably right there's like probably like a 99 percent chance at one point during the relationship, one of them is going to have, like, a thought or, like, maybe if this was deeper. But, I mean, that, I feel like that doesn't, like, ruin it. I feel like just because that thought happens, that doesn't mean they can't be friends anymore. I'm sure it's happened plenty of times and people the, just continue the thing how is, they were. It's never exactly the same friendship that they, it was before because they're always going to have that image in their head. Like, I had this thought of us dating. Like, it's something that it's not going to go away. So, it's it's just stuck in their brain. So, it's the friendship is not going to be the same as it was in the beginning before he had that thought. So once he had that thought, like everything just changes and you might not see it, but it does happen. You're going to have a lot of uh, like issues where you're not going to do certain things because you're afraid you're going to give the wrong impression. And it's, it's not, that's not a good friendship, but you're just going to distance yourself from that person. So it's like, I mean, just because, just because that happens doesn't mean the friendship is bound to fail. I feel like that's a bit like, why i don't know i feel like 
Like, that's like, that's like, that's basically saying like, okay, well, if you acknowledge that thought and you guys talk about it, your friendship will never be the same. And it's kind of ruined now. Like, I mean, and even if it is like, that's still a friendship, even if it's not the best friendship, it still is one. You guys continued on and it didn't become anything else. That's not really a friendship though. A friendship is like, you, you're there for the person, you're supporting the person, you're loving the person and you're, you're going to depend on them. And to know that you're not going to be able to depend like depend on the other person if they know that so it's kind of it's not necessarily ruined but you're not friends you're more of just like acquaintances that's it i mean i don't know i don't feel like they you don't have to do that like someone can if you address the thought and it's recognized and then yeah like things might be awkward but that doesn't like you're you're basically saying like what you have was ruined and i feel like that's not necessarily it doesn't have to go that way it probably will i mean statistically like probably but i feel like it doesn't have to like, I don't know. I just feel like saying men and women cannot be friends is, like, it's too wide. It's, like, it has a very narrow view. Well, it's, like, I, obviously, it's happened before. I mean, there's a lot of arguments that say that, like, men and women can be friends. But there's always that little something. I mean, in our, like, generation, whatever, it's become become more common for girls and boys to be friends. But the majority of the time, you can't. What? <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Oh, All right, peace out. Hold on, wait, no, don't go. What? Hold on. What? Oh, we're just. Um, I don't know what happened to his connection. Unless he just logged off. Okay, well, my point was men and women can't be friends, generally just because of attraction towards the other person. And when one does start to date their so-called friend, they were friends because of this attraction. So it's not, they became friends, they more became people who were talking because they knew that they wanted to date each other because they were attracted to the other person. So generally, you can't just be friends with a guy and a girl. It, it just can't happen. There's always going to be some type of attraction towards each other. And to have a good friendship, you have to be honest and you have to be able to depend on the person. And when someone has this feeling towards the other person and they don't tell their friend, then it's not an honest relationship and it's not an honest friendship. So it's not it's not something that's going to happen. It's in the future, like in the future something may happen and they might may not tell the other person generally because they don't want to or it may hurt the person but that's not a friendship they should always be honest with each other so that was my point men and women can't just be friends